Hi everyone, in this video we are going to talk about how can you drag the item from one repeating group to the another repeating group. So let's start. First we are going to create a simple page, let's say drag and drop. So uh, let me first show you what exactly we are going to do it. So if you saw in the data, I have a like a press that. So if you see my I have an order data type that have a uh, order status in progress and complete also. So we are going to create a two repeating group one for the showing all the order for the in progress item and second is showing all the complete orders and then we will move in progress orders to the complete orders repeating group. So let's start. First we are going to create an in progress uh, in progress repeating group so how simply drag it simply say it's a column simply drag one more item and set it to the 480 simply say it's a in progress orders perfect now now make it uh, we are dragging that repeating group and instead of a four item we will move to so all the item all the item immediately and do uh, fetching all the in progress order so order state is equal to in progress so it will lift all the uh, now uh, now we will use a one plugin if you go to the plugin and click on add pl plugin and search for the draggable you can see this is the draggable element plugin by the bubble so uh, we install it it gives us a two uh, element one is drag and drop group second is drop area so let me show you how exactly you can use it so we are dragging item from in progress order to the complete order so we will also use that drop area inside the repeating group of this the rg in progress order rg in progress and this is a drop area we will make it as an intersect yeah tolerance will be intersect and instead of a column make it as a column this is a group then this group remove the fixed width Inside that we will drag, we will give an option to the drag the item while using a drag and drop group uh, element and that's a column that's also not fixed width simply say it uh, make this item droppable like a droppable to another uh, repeating group simply say move up back uh, data source let me use the first we define a drop area that have a current sale order then we inside that we have a drag and drop item that also have a parent group order and that type of the order so till now just to uh, recap it we have a rg in progress that inside have a drop, uh, drop area element that is coming from the plugin that we saw then we inside that we are putting drag and drop group make it as a droppable now inside that we want we will put any design that you want to put but i normally just want to put the element simply say it's a parent group order customer name make it as a make, remove that fix one remove that minimum width and just copy paste and copy paste it and so order date so order status and just one more also so order id perfect now simply apply gap between so it will be eight now just remove the minimum width and this is a drop area we will also going to remove the minimum width but we will going to put a padding so that you know exactly where exactly that drop area comes out and where is the drag and drop item 
सो ड्रैग एंड ड्रॉप आइटम है वो बैकग्राउंड फ्लैट कलर या वाइट इज मच बेटर सिंपली एंड ड्रॉप एरिया यू आर गोइंग टू मेक इट एज अ टेन डेट इज सेपरेटर सिंपली सो इट एज जीरो नाउ इफ यू सिंपली जस्ट प्रिव्यू इट नाउ यू कैन सी ऑल द इन प्रोग्रेस ऑर्डर आर देयर परफेक्ट नाउ वी नीड टू क्रिएट अ सेम स्ट्रक्चर फॉर द कंप्लीटेड ऑर्डर सो वॉट वील डू कॉपी एंड सिंपली पेस्ट इट एंड इंस्टेड ऑफ दिस इन प्रोग्रेस दिस शुड बी कंप्लीट ऑर्डर वन मोर थिंग वी नीड टू डू इट इफ यू सी ग्रुप बी ग्रुप बी विल बी कंप्लीट एंड इन साइड दैट दिस आर जी विल बी कंप्लीट इन साइड दैट we don't need drag and drop because we are not dragging that complete order so if there is an case where you need to drag the complete order inside in progress then we will keep it but since we don't need it what we will simply move everything to the top drop order uh, and just delete it perfect now just change its color so that it make some differentiation green and just keep a gap between all the item will be 40 perfect now if you can see let me just refresh this page now if you can see if i drag that it's perfectly going and here too but what we need to do uh, when this item is dragged this order status should be changed to the complete order whenever i drag that item and put here perfect so what we will do go to the workflow click drop area has a group drop area has a group basically means where we are dropping the item in that complete order it detect any new element new item so that uh, okay this drop area name should be complete perfect so here complete order type of this thing is order and now we need to make them make the changes to the things and that should be current workflow order and just change it order status equal to rv tree data and complete perfect now if you just refresh the page now if you just drag the tom pane and drag it inside that tom pane it goes here oh i think we just made a one mistake uh here instead of us showing uh, in progress order we need to show the complete order because till uh, like uh, right now it's showing like a same order for both the so that's a mistake at our side so now much better Uh, now we in the left we have a in progress order in the right we have a complete order and if we drag that item gerard bing if you see gerard bing is not here if you drag the item paste it here it automatically goes to the end gerard bing this is how you are dragging but the biggest problem come here if you drag like i'm just showing one more issue like that is complete if you want to drag and drop but it have a one more issue and if you see if you drag that item it will not like going into the complete order that is because we have put all our drop area all this drop area inside the repeating group and this rg complete don't have any item so if you just remove that minimum width even and just remove this border style then you will see nothing is here literally nothing is here like you can't put it so to tackle this particular problem when like a uh, where you are dropping out that have a zero item what you need to do you need to create a one more drop area so just copy that drop area and put inside it uh yes put outside of rg and just make it as a keep the type of order but what you can simply do you can simply change 
its color to identify rather than simply say rather than showing the item simply say drag the order perfect and just make more padding 20 so that at least yeah drag the order now that will be much better and simply hide this repeating grow it automatically hide so you don't have to if you see now here and you need to hide this when rg of complete lift of order count greater than zero so simply hide it so now you are dragging your item in this so you need to make it two uh, drop area one for when there is no item one there is a when there is an item so we need to write a condition for that to also just make a chain drop area zero item perfect now you just need to make again one more condition or you simply copy it and paste it zero item order type perfect make changes yeah or everything is more or less perfect so and now if you just simply refresh this page and now you drop that steve jacking order simply paste it here now you can see it comes into our repeating group and now that uh, drop area that we have created for the zero item that is gone because we have put a condition here perfect i hope you understand the complete in depth of that how you can drag and drop between the repeating group the same way you can do inside the same repeating group like in order but for in order there is a much better plugins are there so and pretty easy to understand so i'm not going to into that if you have any issue related to that so let me know and one more thing i got a feedback from a lot of user like not lot of one or two people if you use the draggable element it becomes slow your application so i want from you if it is making your application slow if it is if it is just comment it down i will create a, another video or another way how can you do the drag and drop uh, drag and drop and with so that your application won't be a slow do let me know hope till then bye bye take care